arthroscopic triceps repair. In this right elbow, we are shaving through a proximal central portal. We've already debrided away the bone spur, and we're left with a triceps central tendon defect, as seen here. As we debride, you can see the damage to the triceps tendon, and we're removing all the damaged tissue. Here you can see into the ulnohumeral joint. So at this point, we need to do a repair. Through a more proximal portal, we bring a retrograde retriever in, penetrate the triceps in a central fashion, come back under the tendon. So we go into the joint, into the olecranon fossa, and then out through the edge of the tendon and retrieve a suture that we hand to ourselves. In this case, this is a number two orthochord suture. We'll pull that back out this superior posterior portal and then bring the edge of the suture back through the central part of the triceps tendon. The goal is to make a banel type suture. And so as we bring this back through the tendon, you can see we're staying fairly central and we'll hand this off to our retriever and pull that in back out our more distal posterior central portal. This is done using a regular grasping device. Once we grasp our suture, we can disengage the retrograde retriever. as seen here. The retriever is then pulled back out this proximal portal and then back into the joint to grab the more peripheral aspect of the tendon and bring one limb back out through this, allowing us to create a tension band fixation. We'll repeat this step on the opposite side of the triceps tendon. The ulnar nerve is some distance away and so it's not that much of a concern at this time. There are medial proximal stitch comes back out through the tendon, and then we will repeat this step with the lateral aspect of the triceps as well. Again, this proximal portal, it's a single skin incision. The retrograde retriever now comes more to the lateral side. Obviously that's safer, and we'll grasp our suture giving us four passes through this triceps tendon. At this point, we pick our spot to do our repair. So we retrieve both sutures out our cannula. And then using a knotless fistection device, we'll create a tunnel into the tip of the olecranon. This bone is very hard and requires over tapping in order to facilitate placing an anchor. One should also be careful not to fracture and to make sure you're centered on the hole. The sutures are passed outside the elbow into the anchor, which is then brought through the cannula and tapped into the bone as seen here. As the anchor is seated fully, we remove the retaining stitch and then tension each suture individually to create a satisfactorily stable repair. The sutures are cut. The elbow is flexed and extended to make sure we have a good solid repair as seen here in full range of motion of the elbow. This completes the arthroscopic repair of the triceps tendon pair.